This week was my 46th birthday, which means I'm old, which means uh, that a lot of my friends call me a dinosaur, and I will never be offended if any of you call me a dinosaur. That's awesome, as long as it's not a stupid dinosaur like Min Me. We'll focus on that later, trust me. Um, it reminded me, though, one of my friends asked a few months back, what was the lifespan of a dinosaur? Um, and it's a good question. The thing is, dinosaurs, uh, it, it's kind of like asking, what's the lifespan of a reptile? Or what's the lifespan of a bird? Um, they all had different uh, lifespans. And so you have to look at each kind. And there are a few things that we can look at that help give us clues. For one thing, um, you know, you look at carnivores versus herbivores. The lifespan of a carnivore is a lot shorter. They're always in competition. They're always at each other's throats. Um, everybody's fighting for every meal, and somebody could end up being somebody else's meal. With mm. herbivores, especially the big ones, as long as they stay out of the way, they're okay. Um, you know, you look at things today, the everyday life of a lion, they're out there fighting against another animal, and they could be killed any day uh, if that zebra connects with a good kick or whatever. Uh, other lions will try to take them down. The zebra, though, isn't fighting the lion every single day. There's that one bad day when they'll get unlucky, maybe. Or they might live without ever getting eaten by that lion. Um, so a lot of herbivore dinosaurs uh, would have lived equal uh, amounts of equally long times. I'm not saying that a zebra and a triceratops have the exact same lifespan, but you've got to look at those clues. The other thing is that um, researchers look at fossil bones like this one. What I've got right here is a upper arm bone, a humerus, <laughs> from an allosaurus. It's about the same size as mine. Their arms were roughly the same size as a human, but their bodies were bigger. Um, if you were to cut this in half, now this is just a plastic cast, but if you cut a fossil in half and look inside, you would see a little bit of a, a ring growth. Not exactly like looking at a tree, which has very, very defined, easy to read lines you can see with your naked eye. But as animals, uh, every year as we go through different seasons, especially if the seasons are harsh, we add a little bit of a calcium buildup to our bones and things like that. And so you can actually trace a little bit of bone growth every year. And it was the same with dinosaur fossils or dinosaur bones when they were growing. Um, so there's a little bit that we can do to determine that. Um, for instance, uh, a T-Rex, which everybody loves a T-Rex, um, estimates put it around 32 years old at its upper end. Who knows? What do you think?